hi it's Agnes and welcome back to my channel I am back with my series of handbag collection so today I'm gonna do my grey handbags I think this is a list uh, of my handbags um, collection as in uh, by color so I have my four only four grey handbags in my entire handbag collection and they're all uh, different brands uh, apart from the two that are Chanel and then the other two um, uh, different brands so we've, we've only got four and I'm sure I'm sure we're not gonna be that long just for four bags so let's get started the first bag I'll show you is the biggest bag of the four and this is my beautiful Balenciaga city bag I love this bag so that's my Balenciaga City in the rose gold hardware. You see that? Yeah, I love this bag. I just love how slouchy, slouchy and how soft the leather is. So yeah, and um, this one is kind of a different sort of design because most of the studs are normally like a small type of studs, but these are kind of giant studs if you see if you've. Uh, watched a few videos of uh, Balenciaga showcasing so yeah mine I got mine pre-loved I've had this I think five years or so and it's still going strong and that's this is the back the back um, is missing I don't know if you can notice that missing the start there's supposed to be like two stars on each uh, on there but it's the back I don't mind that's how I bought it I really don't mind. So it's supposed to have two studs like here, but there's, there's uh, two studs missing, but it's fine. That's fine. I was okay when I bought it. I knew that it was missing some some studs, but you know, at the same time, you can take it to Balenciaga to fix it if you like really want the studs back on, but I really didn't mind. So I'm okay with having those two studs missing, but uh, the front is perfect. So it's got a zipper pocket here and it's in this ash grey colour so it's not like a proper grey, it's ash grey which I love so much. I love this signature um, handles uh, Balenciaga does which like like woven on the bottom. It just feels so luxurious and the leather itself so if you've never tried the um, Balenciaga bag you should. I think for me a balenciaga bag before i had it i just thought it was, it's a must have bag and when you carry it with the shoulder strap it's actually the other way the bag slouches and this is i like uh this about the balenciaga bag i've seen uh, i've watched some uh videos on youtube where um uh, they, they put some insets or like a bag shaper or bag organizer i don't know maybe because they don't like it being slouchy but I love it being slouchy and uh, I like the fact that this is just a shoulder but it's not a crossbody it's just a shoulder pad I mean shoulder shoulder strap but I think you can find a strap if you want to use it as a crossbody you could still do that but I just like it the way it is such a gorgeous gorgeous bag and that's the, the middle part the zipper pull also, the zipper is in um, basically the whole bag is in rose gold hardware, so that's what makes this bag unique ash gray and gold hardware. I think it's, it's a very good bag. If you've never tried it, I think you should. And the interior is just um, uh, uh, it's got the pocket, the rose gold pocket inside with a zipper pull. Mm. So I really use this bag. So I think the zippers are becoming a little bit stiff. So that's what happens when you really use the bag. But yeah, and there's a serial number on the bottom of the, this Balenciaga there, and then below there there's a serial number. Yeah, is it made in Italy or made in France? I think it's made in Italy. So yeah, but this zipper is perfect, the one on the top. So the one inside is a little bit hard to close, but all in all, 
I love the bag. I think it's a beautiful design. And I, can, I think it comes with a tote, a bigger one. But I like this size. And it comes with a small, small size. I would love to have a small size to wear as a crossbody. But I don't mind this one. It's kind of an understated uh, designer bag. But it's so beautiful. If you find it, you know, at a fair price, you know, I would recommend that you buy. I would recommend this bag several times. I don't mind having uh, this bag in a different color. I really don't mind. Not in the black, but it's just like a different color. You never know, but I've only got one in my collection. I've had it for years. So the next bag I'm going to show you is this beautiful uh, Chanel reissue bag in the gray color. So this is my only gray Chanel bag in my Chanel handbag collection. And it's got that fold, you know the reissue bags, they have the fold on the bottom. So that's the bag. It's kind of a worn bag. I actually have tried to recondition it. It was really worn. It looks much better now. So yeah. I got it from a British seller, this one. I've had it for was it a couple of years now? Three years, not even a couple of years, maybe three, three years, somewhere there. Yeah, so the bag's got the usual zipper pocket, so it's in this distressed calf skin, it's supposed to be, yeah, it's this distressed calf skin. It's a gorgeous cap, and obviously, uh, it's a gorgeous bag in this Ruthenian hardware. The hardware is quite shiny, you can see, it's really, really shiny, it's a Ruthenian hardware. So I do have two reissue bags in my collection, the other one is the jumbo size and I have this one which is smaller to the jumbo size but I, I love the quality of the leather it's beautiful it's kind of um the seller told me that it's a vintage one she said uh, it's a vintage uh, bag so it's not like um they because uh, the reissue what should I say the reissue is kind of new, but this is a vintage, the old uh, Chanel before the reissue. So before the CCs, so I think this bag is when it was made before the CCs, the, the, you know, the interlocking CCs. So before the interlocking CCs, there was this bag. So this is the bag. According to the seller, it's got a grey interior. It's, got, it's still got that um, secret pocket and it's got the grey interior. The, like, the leather is so luxurious so yeah it's got the Chanel there made in Italy it's made in Italy it's got, I don't know if you can see it because it's um, printed in like a a silver I don't know if you can see that there there so it's made in Italy it's got some air paper in it just to keep it in shape but it's got a beautiful gray interior so it is a double flap so it's a Chanel vintage Chanel bag and now they've been reissued they're called the Chanel reissue so so beautiful I like the fact that it's vintage and I like the fact that it's the original Chanel bag so in this gray color so beautiful so the next bag is another Chanel bag. I did showcase this bag recently when I was doing my Chanel uh, Le Boy bags. So I included this. So it's kind of a silvery gray sort of color. So I've included in my gray collection. So this is my Chanel Boy bag in this gray lambskin. So it's kind of a delicate leather because it's, it's lambskin. And it's in this beautiful uh, Lothanian hardware. So this one came from Japan. And this one is uh, made in France. I've already shown this bag in detail, so I'm not gonna go in detail. I'm not gonna go in detail today. So you can watch, uh, check my watch list, and then you can see where I did the Le Boy bags, and I did go in detail. The Chanel made in France, and yeah, it's so so gorgeous. It's so beautiful. I'm just trying to see what I've done to the bag. I'm trying to loosen this strap. I think I've done something to this strap. Um, yeah, so we can check the details about this bag. 
when I did my Chanel body bag collection. So, yeah. I was trying to untangle the straps. And yeah. So, you can carry it like this or you just uh, carry it as cross body. So, I tucked this, this strap inside as so I was struggling to, to bring it up. So, it is an adjustable bag. You can adjust it. It's got this... Um, like um, studs that you can uh, move about to adjust the bag but it's perfect the length is perfect for me at the moment it's just got a little bit of wear on the bag some kind of fading I don't know what happened obviously it's a pre-loved bag and it's so beautiful this came from Japan I think I did mention that and then the last bag in my grey collection so we've only got the four bags is my Chloe and this is my only Chloe bag in my entire handbag collection it also came from Japan it's a pre-loved bag it just needs a bit of cleaning there I haven't done that yet I keep saying I'll do it I'll do it otherwise the rest of the bag is so luxurious so the leather which is not suede is so like new so luxurious but here where there's the suede it's um yeah it needs cleaning Actually, the entire suede needs like a proper, proper, uh, proper cleaning. I think I'll just send it to somebody because we have those uh, professional handbag cleaners who can do a good job. I might just mess it up if I try to do it myself. So when I got it, I thought it was really small. When I actually saw it on the on the in the photos when the seller sent the photos, it looked really big. But when I received it, it looked so small. So I've just put a few things just to see how much this bag they come in sizes as well this bag there's some that are bigger than this i think they come in three sizes but mine is i think the smallest size so let's see and when i saw the bag i thought this is where you open and close the bag but no it's it is just like a like a charm really a decorative piece so you just literally open it up like this look at the interior it's, the leather is so pretty the, the gray leather is luxurious because the first time me having a uh, Chloe, so I didn't know that they do really beautiful leather. So this is the inside. The inside is actually new. I don't know what happened outside. Look, inside is like new. So I just put a few things just to see how much. So it's got three compartments. Three compartments. I didn't use this compartment, so I thought it, I could fit a phone in there if I was to use it. So there's my uh, card holder. My Louis Vuitton card holder and there's my Louis Vuitton uh, uh, key clay and there's my Louis Vuitton uh, mini pochette and there's my uh, Louis Vuitton six key ring and there's my Louis Vuitton round coin purse. So you see it can actually carry a few things. It wasn't even that full. And the interior is in a very good condition. It's suede inside as well. So, so good condition. I'm impressed with the, the inside of the bag. Yeah. It's in a very, very good condition. And then, so it's actually got like four compartments. Because here, there's a pocket. And then there, there's a compartment. And then there, a compartment, like another <laughs> compartment and a, a big compartment there. So, yeah. It's actually very, very roomy. But, yeah, so that's the bag when you close it. Crossbody and the strap is adjustable, but it is undetachable. So you can adjust the strap, but it's undetachable. So that's my, those are my four grey bags in my entire handbag collection so probably i should look into getting some grey because grey is a really uh good color i have a, a chanel not a chanel um a uh gucci bag which is a little bit grey but it's not really particularly grey so i'd like to have you know like plain grey like a big leather tote which is uh plain grey that would be great so thank you so much for your time let me just show you that my jewelry that I'm wearing today, I've I'm wearing vintage jewelry. So this jewelry I just want for closer, so you can see. So these are vintage 
uh, earrings. I don't know if you can see. There's got a, they've got a real pair in the middle, and then there's a hatch ship, and yeah, really beautiful vintage earrings. And I have a vintage. This is a solid gold vintage chain. So the entire thing is solid gold. It is vintage, and uh, I'm wearing this vintage gold bracelets they're so pretty they're also uh solid gold and then i have my vintage ring here i just thought you know, i thought of wearing vintage jewelry today and it looks really nice i spent the earrings i just want wore them to show you but normally i wear these vintage earrings when i'm going for like a really special occasion so i just thought i could show you today so if it's something that you want me to do as well i have a collection of beautiful jewelry especially vintage jewelry i do have a collection of really pretty vintage pieces and then these are just my pandora pieces so i just didn't i didn't mention this because these are just my pandora and my pandora uh bracelet and charms but yeah so pretty vintage like more than probably 30 years old really really unique and i have a pendant uh so when I got this, I got a pendant, it, uh, uh, it had a pendant like this one as well. And yeah, just look at these two. So pretty. But the chain is just everything. It's so heavy because it's like solid, solid gold. So thank you so much for your time. If you enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment down below. If you have anything to say, leave us a comment down below. And thank you so much for your time. I will see you soon. It's bye for now.